What's up everybody? My name's Oz. This is Big Swing Golf. Today I'm here at the Downs Crediton 2, which I have been fortunate enough to get my hands on the Lab DF3, or if you want the full name of it, the Lie Angle Balance Direct Force 3. What's all the hype about, guys? This is what I want to find out today. I haven't been fitted for this putter, so I'm borrowing this from a subscriber. Thanks, Matt, for letting me uh, get my hands on it because they are hard to get hold of. What's the hype about? Why are all the uh, big influencers putting these in the bag? Should we go find out? Right, guys, so let's talk a little bit about the technology here. So Lab have designed their putters, so there is no variance in weight. There's no toe hang or, and you can spin it freely and it just spins it's just perfectly balanced kind of like a wheel i suppose and the idea behind it is so there's no torque in your putting stroke there's no resistance anywhere and the putter literally it's swinging by itself right now alignment so there's tons and tons of customization options with the lab putters so this one's got the kind of triple track design i suppose um very similar to my putter and we're going to be testing that against my putter later on on the greens but yeah hundreds and hundreds of um different options available so all the technologies involved are designed to get your putting more consistent so it also has an offset of 1.5 degrees in the shaft this is to promote more shaft lean okay so it's to give you a more consistent roll and i think probably to encourage most putters to put through the ball which let's face it most of us probably don't do to get that even roll to get a more consistent putt more often price so they range from about 400 to 600 plus pounds for a putter so if you are investing that type of money as I say, try and get your hands on them. Make sure you get the right lab putter for you. Right, guys, let's have a little closer look at this head cover as well. So first impressions, real, real luxurious head cover. It's got double magnetic casing to keep it ultra secure because you don't want to lose this bad boy because <laughs> let's face it, it's probably going to be best part of 100 quid. That's expensive. I think Matt's gone for pure matte black. Real nice, real aggressive and yeah looks absolutely fantastic on the ground i can see that that shaft lean there oh and it feels absolutely superb right let's have a little putt with it shall we right let's see what the feels like it's actually it's softer than i thought it was going to be like first impression, like that first part, I've never, never touched this putter before. A lot softer feel. I'm quite surprised. I thought it might be quite metallic. Just starting off with the little three footers. These are the knee knockers. These are the ones we normally miss. So, or I normally miss anyway. Yeah, it really, it really jumps off the face. And I think that's going to help a lot of us amateurs. I'm guilty of leaving a lot of sh putts short. And I think if that's you, this putter might be right up your Straza. Yeah, like that. Love the feel of it. Again, very soft. The stroke, it's like, it's effortless. You leave it short, this is potentially gonna be the putter for you. Yeah, really, really surprised. Really surprised by the feel. I can kind of see why it's so popular at the moment. Fact. Because it wasn't fitted for me, the lie angle is slightly arched up. I think that's probably obviously my putting stroke. Every putting stroke is going to be different. If I had a fit in with lab, I'm sure that would be sorted, but I'm still putting all right with it. I'm still getting a kind of true strike. And I think that's probably credit to the technology, not my putting stroke. Let's try slightly further away. Okay. Put a bit more venom on that one then. And I misstruck that then. So I hit that on its left side and that roll was still totally even. Lab have been very successful in, in, this, in this technology, I think. The misstrike then, if that was on my current putter, that would, have, that would have swayed off way off. And that was a real nice consistent roll off the face. 
And again, it, I can feel it. It's got loads and loads of feedback. And when you finish your putting session, like we're gonna get this one out on the course, I'm gonna compare it to my Odyssey triple track, which is face balanced, it's totally stock as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Obviously I haven't been fitted for this, eventually one day maybe potentially at the moment from the performance but the triple tracks total stock you can just grab it off the shelf yes compare those two but when you finish your putting session you you guys know how lazy i am pick it up and go i'll see you on the course right guys out on the course here now at the downs in crediton we're going to put the lab df3 against my stock odyssey triple track or the OTT, as I'm now going to finally call it, as Lab are uh, keen on their uh, abbreviations. We're going to abbreviate the Odyssey. Callaway, I am available to be part of your marketing team. Thank you for the information. So I'm going to go with the Lab putter first. We've got about 20 foot, I would say. Again, this Lab putter has not been fitted for me, okay? So little disclaimer with that. So I'm using my normal putting stroke. Okay, so left that one a little bit short. Now with the Odyssey triple track as well, it's got the stroke lab um, technology. It is face balanced as well. If you hold it, it does kind of want to open out a little bit compared to the lab. The lab, if you hold it, it stays true in the hang. So you can kind of see the lab technology coming through there. This, the, the, the Odyssey does want to open up on you. Obviously, second putt, I gave it a bit more, bit more of a go. Right, let's see if we can sink par with them both. I'll have a bit more work to do, but it's lovely to look down on. The alignment is just great. Oh, that was painful, guys. I like the feel of the Odyssey face, but is that because I'm used to it? This is the putter I use all the time. So I should be a better putter with this in theory than the putter I haven't been fitted for. But the DF3, it really, really is, when I say an effortless stroke, there is no play whatsoever. It is all on me. And is that gonna make me a better putter? I think it is. Let's have a few more scenarios and uh, we'll summarise at the end. Come on guys, let's have a look. So I used the lab putter first on the last putt. So I'm going to use the Odyssey triple track on this putt. I think it's going very slightly right to left. We're soon going to find out. Okay, not bad. I'm happy with that. It's kind of gone within the three foot dustbin lid that I'd like it to to be within. This is where most amateurs can pick up their, their strokes gained and obviously reduce the handicap and ideally play a bit better golf and get some better scores in. Right, see if I can get this in. <laughs> so again, Phil, on the on the hard, firmer strike, I actually would say the Odyssey had a bit more feel. It, this one on the on the harder strike, maybe I misstruck it a little bit. Again, it's not fitted for me, so might be something in that. But let's see if we can secure this putt. No, too firm. Right, got that one, side by side. If you have a look down there, you can see the alignment aids. This is something I like, I like a real strong alignment aid. So a fringe putt, classic one, would you chip it, would you putt it? In this instance, I am gonna putt it. So I'm just gonna use the lab one here, just cause I wanna try and get a bit more used to it. And I think with this shot, I need to give it a bit more beans than I normally do with my Odyssey triple track. So it's got a real steep slope rolling up to the pin. So I really have to take that into regard as well and give this one some welly. So I'm gonna aim just to the left of the pin and give it some. Get up. That. 
<laughs> that was bang on exactly what I wanted it to do. So to the left of the pin and it and it came it well. I'm um, I'm speechless on that one. And the, on the past hole, on the last hole, I said I didn't get much feedback from the feel. I got a lot of feel then. And this is key here. So I had to go for it from back there. But you know, if that was a if you chipped that, you'd still be happy with this. So we got what about six foot, seven foot, and see if we can finish this off to avoid the the dreaded three putt. Oh. The dreaded three putt there, guys. But I am going to say I will take that. This is a severely sloping green. We're about 40 yards away. In terms of performance there, I'm gonna give that five stars. Right, let's go uh, see if we could give it a more stern challenge, shall we? We've got a real interesting putt here at the Downs Credit and Again, another severe uphill battle. So it's a two tier green. And again, a lot more severe than the last one. Um, Gonna just use the lab again. I wanna give this a good chance of getting used to it. I think I've got enough feedback with the Callaway Odyssey, and obviously it's my normal, my normal putter, so I use that a lot. So I'm gonna try and have a run at this. I'm gonna to aim to the right of the flag, and I think it will swing in slightly, and I really do need to get the pace right here. Not enough, not enough. That was a that was a tough ask. Um, as you can see, as you're walking up, it is quite a quite a slope. So, you know, we are putting this through a quite a a tough challenge here, this putter. But I wanted to see what the hype was all about, and you know, it's performing well. This is my first time out with it. Right, let's try and avoid this three putt. Tough green, these are tough scenarios we're putting it in. Right, come on. There we go, right, so another three putt on a tough challenge. Little par three here, we're inside 20 foot. So, good, amazing result would be a birdie. An all right result would be a par. Well, that wasn't bad, was it, really? Wasn't bad at all. Really, all I'm thinking about when I'm using this putter is how far I'm going back with it and the alignment. And the putter's doing the rest of the work. Really cracking. I'm so, still so kind of shocked. And I'm thinking, is it a real clever marketing campaign lab have done here? Like playing into the fears and the minds of all golfers. And I'm just having a having a spike at this putt. So this would be be for the bird. I'm looking down at the ball as well, like the shaft lean, I think it's really, really f forcing me to come through the ball, to give a better roll on the ball. Like that 1.5 degrees, that's all they add here. So there's the center of the putter and they've put the shaft in at 1.5 degrees to give you that, that forward press to hopefully give you a better roll. And to be honest, I think I am seeing a better roll than I do from my from my Callaway. So let's have a, let's try and sink this and then get back to, get back to give you my thoughts. It was close, it was close, but I'm close enough to, to just tap it in. Would you guys give me this? Would that be a gimme? No. Can I pick it up? I think you guys are friendly enough. Right. So let's get back to uh, to the clubhouse and have a rundown on my thoughts. But generally, very impressed. What do you guys think? Are the cons of the Lab DF3. Yes, yes. Not beat around the bush. It's probably going to be the price. The price, 400 to 600 plus pounds. Obviously, price is relative. If, you, if you're looking at this video, you kind of already, you probably already spied the lab site and have a rough idea of the, the putter that will, that will suit you. 
but I would recommend going for a fitting. If you are spending that type of money on a putter, I would recommend go to a lab fitter, get it fitted and get that technology. So you, I preferred the feel. So this is a preference thing. So I preferred the feel. When I went put it head to head with the Odyssey triple track, I thought the feel off the face on the triple track, for me, you, you can't beat it. I thought, I thought that's its only other con apart from, apart from the price of the actual putter, which, which is an obvious one. But again, money's relative. And how much do you pay for a driver? Do you know what I mean? So you're paying 500 quid for a driver and you use it, what, five times, six times? Whereas a putter, you're using it 30 plus times. And if your putting stroke's not gonna change and you, you know, you're a consistent putter already, you've already put in the practice, 600 quid, you know, is it worth it? You tell me guys below. Technology is working, all their marketing, the, the, the no talk putting, it, you know, the technology's doing what, what it says it's, it's meant to be doing, that the stroke just felt effortless. It really is an effortless putt. The looks down at the ball, I really like the looks. They've changed the design of the DF3 um, from the DF2. The DF2 was more alien head-like. I think the DF3 looks really nice at addressing the ball. And on a sweet strike, and I don't know whether any of you guys know, it, whether it's deliberate or not, when you strike the ball and you catch it in the center, it's just got this lovely sort of metallic hum, um, which, yeah, I, I thought was lovely to hear. And it gives you that extra bit of feedback on your putt. So another pro is the consistency of the club um, and its overall performance. Can't knock it, massive, massive pro for me. Um, and this, this putter I was using wasn't even fit for me. So another pro, the amount of customization op options. So who's the lab putter for? I would say the lab putter is for someone who's really practiced their putting. They've got to a point where they cannot get any better with sort of their stroke and developing their stroke. Most amateurs, how much time do we really spend putting practice? I'm an exception. I do like, I do like putting and I do spend a lot of time practicing. What a freak. But if you don't and you haven't got the time, and you've got the money available, I would definitely consider a lab putter if this is a place where you've identified you can reduce your handicap and obviously avoid those dreaded three putts and yeah, start sinking some birdies. That's what we all want, right? That's who I would say this putt is for, someone who's really tried working on their stroke and they can't get it any better, go get a lab putter because I guarantee you'll start sinking some birdies, if not better. Would I buy a lab putter? The answer is yes. I definitely like to um, go to a fitting centre and see how, how they fit me for that lab putter. But yeah, I would buy one. After that, just initial tryout, I would definitely, definitely consider it. I think it was a it was a fantastic putter and definitely worth a look. If you're in the market and you've identified that putting's a place where you can reduce your handicap, go for it. I would pull the trigger and go get fitted. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, please give us a like, give us a subscribe below. My name's Oz, this is Big Swing Golf, and I'll see you next time.